I didn't like the heat. I hated being hot. Like I would never go in the sunshine. My brothers are so much darker than I am and I'm so pale, even though I'm Mexican and Native American because I just don't like going in the sun. It just is too hot. And so I remember thinking, okay, just nowhere hot. I, you know what? In fact, I'd love to go to Russia because I used to work in the cafeteria at MTC and I wanted to, I, I would always ask the missionaries, how do you say that? How do you say elder in, in that language? And my favorite was Tereshna. That was Russian for elder. And so I wanted to be a sestra, I think is how you say it. I don't remember it very well, but I wanted to serve in Russia. And um, plus it was cold. That was a bonus. So I remember the day I got my call, my, uh, my cousins all came over and my one cousin, Ammon, he was like, you're going to Texas. I was like, I'm not going to Texas, Ammon. And I remember thinking, don't say that. It's hot in Texas. We even have family from Texas and we've been there and I didn't like it because it was so hot. <laughs> so I, I got up and I opened my call and I kind of skipped ahead because I was a cheater and I looked at him and he just smiled. He knew exactly where I was going. And I, I opened it and I said, but I remembered, I remember in that moment being disappointed when I read Texas San Antonio Mission. Um, but I always remembered seeing people's videos where they're like visibly upset at where they're going. And I always thought that was silly. So if you were to watch the video of me opening my call, I look thrilled out of my mind when really I was like, it's so hot in Texas. But it was, it was neat because my, my uncle, I had an uncle, his name's Solomon. He had actually passed away a couple of years, about a year or two previous to me opening my call. And he had lived in San Antonio. That was the last place he lived. And I actually ended up serving in the ward that he had lived in. And I got to see his old home and his ward there had planted a little, a little plaque in the grass in a tree in his memory. But I, I was so disappointed and, and I was English called, which I loved, but both my brothers were called Spanish and I was the one that actually spoke Spanish. And so, and they went to, one of them was called a Honduras. The other one went to Mexico and I was just super upset. It was really bratty, but it was, it was where I needed to go. It's interesting to see even just a tiny bit of why the Lord sends you somewhere, because I'm sure I don't even know a tenth of why I went to Texas, but I'm grateful I did. I, I couldn't have handpicked a better mission for myself. The MTC was a wonderful place. Yeah. I was only there for two weeks, but you know, I, I, I always just in my mind, I heard so much about going on a mission and had never thought about it myself. And even after I got my call, I never really thought a ton about like, okay, I want to have these kind of experiences. I didn't really set goals or anything, which in hindsight was kind of silly. But, um, so when I went there, it was just really almost like I was a convert and didn't know anything about the church not the doctrine, but like the way it was going to be. And even though I'd worked in the MTC, I was in the cafeteria. So I didn't get to see outside of anything. I just remember hearing people. It was so polarized. You either loved the MTC or you hated it. And I was just determined to make the best of, of every opportunity, every situation. And so I remember leaving my parents and thinking, this is it. And I met my companion and I, I think the Lord knew because still when I, when I went on my mission, it was still not what I had wanted to do. Like if I'd had another experience and the Lord spoke to me and said, you know what, you, you do what you want. You don't have to, you don't have to go on a mission. I'd have been like, oh, okay. And I wouldn't have gone, which is, which is terrible. Really. I experienced a great change of heart in the field, but I think what helped me most was the people, was my teachers, my district, my companion. I love my companion, my MTC companion, all my heart. It was two weeks of a tender mercy. It was one of the most beautiful experiences and I cried when I left and I sometimes still cry when I think about it. I miss it. There is a sacred feeling there and there are sacred memories there. There's too many to, to talk about in a short time, but it was just the boost that I needed. It was like EFY times a million with the greatest people and the greatest spirit that you can imagine.